Hey grillers, Brad here from BB Grill Shack. Today, I've got this giant pork belly. And I'm gonna be teaching you guys how to cure it and turn it into bacon. Let's get started. For this recipe, all you're gonna need is a pork belly, sugar, curing salt, and kosher salt. The first step is to figure out how much of the curing mix you need. So you take the weight of your pork belly, you have to convert it to grams, and then this calculator spits out exactly how much salt, sugar, and curing salt you need. So for mine, I need 86 grams of salt, 39 grams of sugar, and 12 and a half grams of curing salt. I'll link to the calculator in the description, so check it out there. Now it's time to open up your pork belly and pat it dry. We're gonna put it into a plastic container to cure it in. And now that our pork butt is in this plastic container, we're gonna take the dry rub that we mixed up, then we're gonna use all of this cure rub on all sides of the belly. It's really important to use all of the rub since we use a calculation that'll bring it to an equilibrium here. So we're just gonna start by pouring it on and then we'll give this thing a few flips to soak up whatever rub doesn't get poured on in the first one. Now that we've got the entire pork belly coated with the curing salt, we're gonna put a loose lid over it, and then we're gonna put it in the fridge for seven days. Make sure you take it out and flip the pork belly every day for the seven days. I'll catch you guys in a few days. All right guys, it's been one day since I started curing this bacon. So I'm gonna flip it over. You can see it's already starting to create a lot of liquid in there. And it's starting to get really firm already. Just like that. Put the lid back on. And that's ready to go back in the fridge. All right guys, it's day seven and I'm gonna be flipping the pork belly for the last time. You can see it's become quite a bit more firm and all the juices you can see, that's all just pork belly juices that have been drawn out by the salt and sugar. So I'm gonna let this sit for a little bit more and then we're gonna take it outside and throw it on the smoker. So we're done with the seven day curing process and the next step is gonna be to rinse off our pork belly so that we can get rid of any of the excess salt or sugar. The next step is gonna be to smoke the pork belly. And what I'm gonna do is smoke it in this pan. And the reason I'm smoking it in this pan is this pan is going to help deflect some of the direct heat that might burn or melt the fat underneath. So having it in this pan will help protect the bottom and it'll also help protect my grill from getting too much bacon grease all over it. All right, crew, now that we've cured and rinsed the pork belly, we're gonna throw it on the smoker. Preheat your smoker to 180, and we're gonna bring the pork belly up to a temperature of 150. The reason we're doing this isn't necessarily to cook the pork belly, but we wanna add some nice, good smokiness to it. Smoky bacon equals a good life. I'm gonna throw a Bluetooth uh, temperature probe in. This is gonna help us keep track of our cook. Now that our pork belly has reached an internal temperature of 150 degrees, I'm gonna take it off the smoker 
I'm gonna take it inside and let it cool down. And then I'm gonna slice it up and get ready for this weekend when I'm gonna fry some up and do a taste test for you guys. Use a long knife to cut quarter inch thick bacon slices. This is a lot easier to do if you've cooled the pork belly down in the fridge or freezer for maybe 35 or 45 minutes. Store your bacon in plastic bags or containers and keep them in the fridge for up to four weeks or in the freezer up to six months. I wanted to fry up some of this bacon so I could give you guys a taste test. Just some tips for frying this up, just fry it like you'd fry any bacon and it's a little bit more greasy than normal so you might have to get rid of some bacon grease more often than you normally would. I got the bacon all fried up. Now it's time to give you guys a taste test. Here's what it looks like. Closer view. Oh yeah. Salty, fatty, super good. Really enjoy it. All right guys, if you like this video, go ahead and subscribe to my channel. We'll hang out again. Otherwise, I'll catch you guys next time. Have a good one.